Okay, chapter 3, solving linear equations. Translate this sentence into an equation. A number, b, divided by 3 is equal to 6 less than c. b divided by 3, that is b over 3 as a fraction, is equal to, means equal sign, 6 less than c. c minus 6. So the equation that we get is b over 3 equals c minus 6. A number b divided by 3 is equal to 6 less than c. Translate this sentence into an equation. 15 more than z times 6 is y times 2 minus 11. 15 more than plus z times multiplied by 6 is, is an equal sign, y times multiplied by 2 minus 11. What that gives us is 15 plus 6z, z times 6, 6z, is equals y times 2, 2y minus 11. Translate each sentence into an equation. A number c multiplied by 6 is equal to 2 more than d. That gives us 6c. That is c multiplied by 6, 6c, is equal to, that means equals, 2 more than d, d plus 2. 3 less than a number a divided by 4 is 7 more than 3 times b. 3 less than a number a divided by 4. So we know that it's going to be a over 4 a divided by 4, 3 less than minus 3 is, that means equals, 7 more than 3 times b, 3b plus 7. We can look back at this slide, more than always equals addition, is equals times multiplied minus subtraction jelly beans a popular jelly bean manufacturer produces 1,250,000 jelly beans per hour how many hours does it take them to produce 10 million jelly beans well, you know that 1,250,000 jelly beans are produced each hour. You want to know how many hours it will take to produce 10 million jelly beans. Write an equation to represent the situation. Let H represent the number of hours needed to produce the jelly beans. 1,250,000 jelly beans times h hours equals 10 million. We can cross out these extra zeros that both of them have and we know that h equals 8 because we then have 125 let's change this color back to white 125 h equals 1000 from there, it's simple division. Divide each side by 125. H equals 8. It will take 8 hours to produce 10 million jelly beans. If it takes 1,250,000 jelly beans are produced in one hour, how many hours will it take to produce 10 million? This is the equation we use. 1,250,000 times the number of hours equals 10 million. 
divide 10 million by 125, 1,250,000. If 1,250,000 jelly beans are produced in one hour, then 1.250,000 times 8, or 10 million, 10 million jelly beans are produced in 8 hours. This answer makes sense. A person at the Keytronic World Invitational type off typed 148 words per minute. How many minutes would it take to type 3,552 3, words? Well, if you typed 148 words per minute, how many minutes would it take to type 3,552? This is the equation we would use. 148m equals 3,552. Now divide each side by 148 so we can find how many minutes m equals 3,552 3, divided by 148. It would take 24 minutes. We can go back and check. We can see 148 words per minute, multiply it by 24 minutes, and if it equals 3,552, we know that the answer is correct. 148 times 24 is 3,552. So we know it is correct. It would take 24 minutes. Translate the sentence into a formula. The perimeter of a square equals four times the length of the side. Perimeter equals four times the length of one side. Let P be perimeter and S be a length of a side. Right here, we have perimeter represented by the P equals is an equal sign four times the length of a side 4s the formula is perimeter equals 4s translate the sentence into a formula the area of a circle equals the product of pi and the square of the radius r the formula is area equals pi r squared The area of a circle, A, equals, equal sign, the product, so we know it's multiplication, of pi and the square of radius, R. Pi times R squared. Area equals pi R squared. Translate this equation into a verbal sentence. 12 minus... 2 times x equals negative 5. Just break it apart. 12 minus 2 times x equals negative 5. Translate this equation into a verbal sentence. a squared plus 3b equals c divided by 6. a squared plus 3 times b, 3b is 3 times b, equals c divided by 6. Translate each equation into a verbal sentence. 12 divided by b minus 4 equals negative 1. 5 times a equals b squared plus 1. Write a problem based on the given information. f is the cost of fries f plus 1.50 is the cost of a burger. 
for f plus 1.50 oh, minus f equals 8.25. Write a problem based on the given information. The answer, the cost of a burger is a dollar fifty more than the cost of fries. That's what this says, f plus 1.50. The cost of a burger is 1.50 plus the cost of fries. Four times the cost of a burger, cost of a burger, minus the cost of fries, minus f, equals 8.25. How much do fries cost? Write a problem based on the given information. H equals Tiana's height in inches. H minus 3 equals Consuelo's height in inches. 3H, H minus 3 equals 8,262. Consuelo is 3 inches shorter than Tiana. The product of Consuelo's height and 3 times Tiana's is 8,262. How tall is Tiana? We can use this information right here for the cost of the burger to find F. We have 4F plus, when you expand 4 and 1.5, you have 6 minus F equals 8.25. 4F minus F, we have 3F, subtract 6 from both sides, 3F equals 2.25. Divide each side by 3 so we can find the cost of fries on their own. And we have F equals 0 0.75. Fries cost 0 0.75. From this answer, we came up with a question. Consuelo is 3 inches shorter than Tiana. The product of Consuelo's height and 3 times Tiana's is 8,262. How tall is Tiana? Well, we know that 3h, h, h minus 3 is 8,262. 3h times h, 3h squared minus 3, 3h times 3, 9h equals 8262. End of lesson 3 slash 1. Now, 3, 2, solving linear equations. Solve h minus 12 equals negative 27. Then check your solution. From h minus 12 equals negative 27, we first add 12 to each side. We want to have h by itself. When we add 12 to each side, minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So we have h alone equals negative 27 plus 12, negative 15. h equals negative 15. It then says, check your solution. To check that negative 15 is the solution, substitute negative 15 for h in the original equation. So we have h minus 12 equals negative 27. Negative 15, substitute that in for h, minus 12 equals negative 27. Is that true? Yes, negative 15 minus 12 is negative 27. So we know that, that answer is correct.
h equals negative 15. Solve a minus 24 equals 16. Then check your solution. The first thing we do is we're going to add 24 to both sides. So a minus 24 plus 24 equals 16 plus 24. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. a minus 24 plus 24 becomes a plus 0. These cancel out. 16 plus 24 is 40. a equals 40. To check your solution, substitute 40 for a. 40 minus 24 should equal 16, and it does. So you know the answer is correct. A is 40. Solve k plus 63 equals 92. Then check your solution. Well, the original equation we see right here, k plus 63 is 92. We're going to add negative 63 to each side so we can have k alone. 63 plus negative 63 equals 92 plus negative 63. 63 plus negative 63 is 0. So we have k plus 0 equals 92 plus negative 63, which is 92 minus 63, 29, giving us k equals 29. To check the solution, we substitute 29 for k. So we have 29 plus 63 equals 92. If that is true, then your answer is correct. 29 plus 63 equals 92. The answer is correct. k equals 29. Solve t plus 22 equals negative 39, then check your solution. t plus 22 equals negative 39. We're going to add negative 32 to each side, negative 22 to each side. So t plus 22 plus negative 22 equals negative 39 plus negative 22. 22 plus negative 22 is 0. So t plus 0 equals negative 39 plus negative 22 is negative 61. t equals negative 61. To check the answer, we plug negative 61 in for t. Negative 61 plus 22 should equal to negative 39. If that is true, the answer is correct. Negative 61 plus 22 does equal negative 39. The answer is negative 61. Solve c plus 102 equals 36. Then check your solution. The same thing we've done before. c plus 102 plus negative 102 which is the same as minus 102, equals 36 minus 102. This becomes 102 minus 102 is 0. 36 minus 102 is negative 66. The answer is C equals negative 66. To check that negative 66 is the solution, substitute negative 66 for C. We have negative 66 plus 102 equals 36. That is correct. 102 minus 66 does equal 36. So the answer is negative 66. plus k equals negative 42. Then check your solution. We're going to subtract 129 from both sides, so we have k on its own. 129 minus 129 plus k equals negative 42 minus 129. 129 minus 129 becomes 0. 
So k equals negative 42 minus 129, 171. Substitute that back into the original equation. 129 minus 171 equals negative 42. That is correct. The answer is negative 171. Solve y plus 4 over 5 equals 2 over 3 in two ways. Number one, use the subtraction property of equality. Same as we did before, subtract 4 fifths from each side. y plus 4 over 5 minus 4 over 5 equals 2 over 3 minus 4 over 5. 4 over 5 minus 4 over 5 equals 0. 2 over 3 minus 4 over 5. Find the least common denominator, 10 over 15 minus 12 over 15, or negative 2 over 15. The answer is y, negative 2 over 15. Method 2, use the addition property of equality. y plus 4 over 5 plus negative 4 over 5. y equals 2 over 3 plus negative 4 over 5. Same answer as before, negative 2 15. Two-thirds plus y equals five-sixths. We're going to do the same thing, subtract two-thirds from each side. Two-thirds minus two-thirds, zero, plus y equals five-sixths minus two-thirds. Find the least common denominator, five-sixths minus six is the least common denominator, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. y equals 5 sixths minus 4 sixths, or 1 sixth. Write an equation for the problem, then solve the equation and check your solution. 14 more than a number is equal to 27. Find this number. 14 more than a number is equal to 27. 14 plus n equals 27. Subtract 14 from each side. 14 plus n minus 14 equals 27 minus 14. n equals 27 minus 14. 13. To check that 13 is the solution, substitute 13 for n in the original equation. The solution is 13. 12 less than a number is equal to negative 25. 12 less than a number is equal to negative 25. 12 less than a number is equal to negative 25. First thing we do, add 12 to both sides so we can have the number on its own. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. n equals negative 25 plus 12, negative 13. The number is negative 13. If we plug that back in to the end, negative 13 minus 12. If it equals negative 25, it's correct. Negative 13 minus 12 does equal negative 25. Correct. The Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. was built in two phases. From 1848 to 1854, the monument was built to a height of 152 feet. From 1854 until 1878, no work was done. Then, from 1878 to 1888, the additional construction resulted in its final height 
of 555 feet. How much of the monument was added during the second phase of construction? The first height plus the additional height equals 555 feet. Let A be the additional height. The first height, 152, plus A, the additional height we are trying to find, equals 555. We're going to subtract 152 from each side to find A. A equals 403. 152 minus 152 is 0. 55, 555 minus 152 is 403. There were 403 feet added to the Washington Monument from 1878 to 1888. The Sears Tower was built in 1974. The height to the sky deck is 1,353 feet. The actual recorded height is 1,450 feet. In 1982, they added twin antenna towers, which do not count for the record, for a total structure height of 1,707 feet. How tall are the twin antenna towers? Well, the actual recorded height is 1,450 plus the twin antenna towers, we'll call them A for antenna towers, equals 1,707. We can go ahead and subtract 1,450 from each side. And we have the antenna height is 257. End of lesson three slash two. Solving linear equations. S over twelve equals three over four then check your solution. S over 12 equals 3 over 4 is the original equation. Multiply each side by 12. That gives us S over 12 times 12 is S. 3 over 4 times 12 is 9. S equals 9. To check that solution is correct, substitute 9 for S. 9 over 12 equals 3 over 4. That is correct. We multiply 12 by s over 12. 12s cancel out. 12 times 3 over 4 becomes 9. This 4 crosses out and becomes a 1. The 12 becomes a 3. 3 times 3 is 9. s equals 9. A over 18 equals 2 over 3. Multiply both sides by 18. Eighteen cancels out with A over 18, and we have A equals 18 times 2 thirds. This 3 crosses out to a 1, 18 to a 6. 6 times 2 is 12. A equals 12. We can substitute it back in to see if that's correct. 12 over 18 should equal 2 over 3. That is true. 12 over 18 reduces down to 2 over 3. It is correct. Negative 3 and 3 eighths k equals 1 and 4 fifths. Rewrite 
each mixed number as an improper fraction. Mixed numbers need to be changed into improper fractions. So we have negative 27 over 8 k equals 9 over 5. Multiply each side by negative 8 over 27, the reciprocal of negative 27 over 8. The answer, k equals negative 72 over 135 or negative 8 over 15. To check that solution, substitute the answer, negative 8 over 15, for k in the original equation. It will equal 1 and 4 fifths. It is the correct answer. Solve 4 and 1 third m equals 5 and 3 sevenths. Step 1, change both all mixed numbers into improper fractions. 4 and 1 third as an improper fraction is 13 thirds equals 38 sevenths. 7 times 5 is 35 plus 3, 38 divided by 7. We're now going to multiply each side. We're trying to isolate m each side by the reciprocal of 13 thirds, which is 3 over 13. 13 thirds times 3 over 13 cancels out. m equals 38 over 7 times 3 over 13. That's going to give us 1 and 23 over 91. Solve negative 75 equals negative 15b. Multiply each side by negative 1 over 15, the reciprocal of negative 15. So negative 1 over 15 times negative 15 leaves b alone. Let's cross out b equals negative 75 times negative 1 over 15, 5. b equals 5. And if you plug that back in, you can see negative 15 times 5 should equal 75, negative 75. And they do. Negative 15 times 5 is negative 75. The answer is 5. Solve 32 equals negative 14c. 32 equals negative 14c. Multiply it by the reciprocal of negative 14, negative 1 over 14. That crosses out and leaves you c, negative 1 over 14, times 32, leaves you negative 2 and 2 sevenths. You can, ch you can check the answer by 32 equals negative 14 times negative 2 and 2 sevenths. Negative 14 times negative 2 and 2 sevenths equals 32. So the answer is correct. Negative 2 and 2 sevenths. Using information from example 4 in the student edition, what would be the weight of Neil Armstrong's suit and life support backpack on Mars if 3 times the Mars weight equals the Earth weight? Words, 3 times the weight on Mars equals the weight on Earth. Let W equal the weight on Mars. 3 times the weight on Mars equals the weight on Earth. The weight on Earth was 198. To find the weight on Mars, we multiply it by the reciprocal of 3w, 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 3 cancels out, so we have w equals 1 third of 198, 66. 1 third times 3 is 1, 1 third times 198 is 66. The weight of Neil Armstrong's suit and life support backpacks on Mars would be 66 pounds.
refer to the information about Neil Armstrong in example 4. If Neil Armstrong weighed 216 pounds on Earth, how much would he weigh on Mars? Seventy two pounds. Three times the weight on Mars equals the weight on Earth. So three times the weight on Mars equals the weight on Earth. Three W equals two hundred and sixteen. Multiply each side by the reciprocal of three. W equals one third times two hundred and sixteen. Seventy two. Seventy two pounds on Mars. Solve eleven W equals one hundred and forty three, then check your solution. You can immediately divide each side by eleven. You know that you need to get a W by itself, so we can just divide it by 11. 11W divided by 11 is W. 143 divided by 11 is 13. We can check the answer by substituting 13 back in for the W. 11 times 13 equals, if equals 143, we know the answer is correct. 11 times 13 is 143. The answer is correct. Solve 35t equals 595, then check your solution. 35t equals 595. Divide each side by 35 immediately. 35t divided by 35 leaves t. 595 divided by 35 is 17. To check the answer, plug 17 back into the equation. 35 times 17 equals 595. That is true. The answer is 17. Negative 8x equals 96. The first thing we do, divide each side by negative 8. Negative 8 divided by negative 8 is 1. So we have x equals 96 divided by negative 8. That gives us negative 12. x equals negative 12. Negative 12b equals 276. Divide each side by negative 12. Negative 12b divided by negative 12 is 1b. 276 divided by negative 12 is negative 23. The answer is negative 23. Write an equation for the problem below, then solve the equation. Negative 14 times a number equals 224. Negative 14 times a number equals 224. Negative 14n equals 224 is the original equation. Divide each side by negative 14. Negative 14 divided by negative 14 is 1n. 224 divided by negative 14 is negative 16. n equals negative 16. You can check this result by putting negative 16 back into the equation. Negative 14 times negative 16 equals positive 224. That is correct. So n does equal negative 16. Negative 34 times a number equals 578. Find the number. Negative 34 times
times a number equals 578. Negative 34n equals 578. Divide each side by negative 34. So we can have n alone. Negative 34n divided by negative 34 it leaves n. 578 divided by negative 34 is negative 17. The answer is negative 17. We can check this by adding, sub substituting seven, negative 17 for n. Negative 34 times negative 17 should equal positive 578. And it does. So the answer is negative 17. That is the end, end of lesson 3-3.